Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to reset your iPhone to factory default. This would basically be used for if you want to sell your iPhone and you want to wipe all of your data off of it, or maybe give it to someone else. This will fully wipe it and be just like it was when you first pulled it out of the box. Now, before we do that, I would recommend you back up. In order to do that, let me show you here. We'll go to settings. And under settings, you want to scroll down until you get to iCloud. Under iCloud, scroll down to backup. And under backup, it will tell you the last time it was backed up. Now, this phone was backed up on 12.4 last time, so we want to just go ahead and hit backup. You may need to plug it in. You also should be on Wi-Fi as well. I don't have a SIM card in here because, like many of you, I'll probably want to get rid of it or whatever. We'll want to wipe the phone. So you can remove your SIM card. You will need a SIM card to activate a new phone. Now, by backing this up, this will allow us to restore this onto any other phone as long as we have an OS that's the same or newer. So if this has iOS 8 or newer on it, you can restore that. If it has iOS 9, you'll need iOS 9 or newer on the new phone. So we'll wait for this to back up and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to actually wipe the phone. The backup took about five to 10 minutes and you can see it says backup now, last backup 522. It's 524, so we're good to go. So next we need to go back. And for those of you that wondered, this will back up everything you have turned on here. So if you're worried about losing anything, as long as it's here, and this includes uh, not just these things, but it also includes your messages as well. Your music, if you bought it in iTunes, will be backed up through iTunes and you can just re-download it. If you didn't, you'll have to resync. Otherwise, that's what you have set up and this is what it will back up. It will also buy back up contacts and things too, but I get those questions a lot on some other videos. But what you'll need to do first is turn off Find My iPhone. Now you can go back and reset it, but it will prompt you to turn this off if you haven't already. So since we're here, turn off Find My iPhone, flip that off, and then we want to go ahead and enter the password. It's turning off Find My iPhone, now it's off and we can restore it. So just go back, go back again, and then you want to go to General. So this is just Settings and then General. Once you're in general, scroll all the way to the bottom, go to reset and reset all settings. So you can do reset all settings or you could do any of these things in particular. We want to erase everything. So erase all content and settings. It wants my password. Once you put the password in, it pops up this little dialogue and says, are you sure you want to do this? Hit erase. It'll pop up one more time and say, are you really sure you want to do this? So before we do this, we can cancel or hit erase and it will fully reset. And when it comes back up, everything will be wiped. Not one thing will be on here. And I'll show you what it looks like when it comes back up. This will take probably another five minutes uh, or longer. It depends on the storage. This is a 64 gigabyte iPhone 6S. Uh, there's others that are 128 and those could take a little bit longer. So it depends or even less with a 16 gigabyte. So we'll wait for this and we'll come back. It's 526 now. So we'll see what it is when this restores. The phone has reset and everything has been wiped off of it. So you'll get this screen where it's saying hello in all these different languages. Just swipe and you'll see that it goes right to the setup to select your language or whatever you want to do. And this is just as though you bought it and took it out of the box for the first time. So you can securely just shut it down and know that all of your data is wiped off of it and no one can access that. It wipes all of your data, all of your fingerprints, everything is off of this. And if you even restore from a backup, you'll even have to put in your fingerprints again. So all of that fingerprint information is gone. It's all wiped off. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, if you're looking on how to restore to a new device, uh, I'll leave that link in the description below. I have another video where I've shown how to do that, but this is basically ready to be sold or given to someone else and fully erased. If you have any other questions or comments or other videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.